G'day everyone, so I'm doing a survival trip. I've got the kayak, I've got the tent, didn't bring any food. I am hungry. No water, I've got a water bottle that I can fill up some water. I've got heaps of water here, so I should be fine with that. I got down here late last night. I don't know if you can see me. So I'm gonna run you through what happened last night. I basically got here in the dark, had a couple of casts, and then sort of went to bed. The kayak is trying to slip off on me. The sun is trying to set as well. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to get to camp. Hopefully I can get there before dark. Got the kayak set up, it is dark already. Can't see any deep water, I don't know if you can see me, but I basically already broke my net. Hopefully I can get to a spot that's campable and just set up and that's sort of be me for the night. I didn't bring any food in the hope that I'd catch a redfin tonight or something, but yeah, that hasn't happened. So I'll probably just have an early one tonight and then try to get something in the morning. You guys can't see too much, but this is uh, where I'm gonna be camping tonight. It's definitely not where I wanted to, but with the light, I definitely couldn't get any further. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull up here. When you hear something on the other side, just crashing through the bush, definitely doesn't make you feel too good, but I'm pretty sure it's just a kangaroo or something. It's not a kangaroo at all, it is a cow. Set the tent up, the sleeping bag, the mattress. When you hear something flicking around in the water, I'm just gonna give this UV Razor Edge Lures um, a crack. So I'm gonna have a couple of casts, try to get a feed for dinner. Had a few casts, I caught nothing. What I want to know in the comments down below is has anyone actually caught any redfin or trout at night? I'll be very interested to know. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the morning. So it's very overcast. I'm just going to have a flick, try to get a red fin for breakfast or something. And then um, if not, we'll keep heading up the river and then trying to get a couple more. There's a few blackberries that are ripe. I'm just going to pick a few of those and have them at the moment. I've got a few blackberries, they're tasty. They don't fill you up a lot, so I'll still try to get a fish. So the whole idea of this camp was being a solo survival trip. I put up the drone, very remote, which is exactly what I want. I'll show you some footage now. The camp is real nice setup, nice area. Would have liked to go further down the river last night, but I just couldn't get there with the time. It was just too late, too dark. But yeah, very happy with this spot, and I'll show you the drone footage. snagged on the bank so i just pulled the kayak in and i have a few cars throughout here and then yeah, pack up if i don't catch anything or cook something hopefully when i do there is so many birds here yep yes come on that's probably perfect size yes that's the most happy I've been about a little redfin in ages. That's awesome, just a tiny little redfin. That's perfect, just enough for me to have a bit of breakfast in the morning. I'm gonna take him back to camp and yeah, cook this one up. So I brought with me a life straw. It says that it filters out 99.999 something percent of all the bacteria and all the bad stuff in the water. So my assumption is that you just fill up the water bottle as normal. And this straw here filters out all the bad stuff. So you turn any water into drinkable water. Well, I am yet to use it, so I'll see how it goes. 
not bad. We'll see if I get sick. <laughs> no, I think this water's pretty good anyway. So um, just sort of peace of mind rather than boiling water or something. I just grab this. It's a good concept if it works. I've got two small fillets. All you do to get the skin off is I just go from the top of the where the dorsal fin would be and start peeling the skin. Doesn't really work too well on the bigger ones as they're a bit tougher. But you basically just peel that skin off like that. Super easy. Just like that. There's a tiny bit of meat there which I'll get off. But the rest of it just peels straight off so easy. Just giving the fish a rinse, giving the little pan a rinse. It's a tiny little pan. This is the um, 360 degree kit with the jet boil gas at the bottom. Giving these a try, I haven't used them before. So yeah, I'll just break these fish into smaller bits so it'll actually fit into here because it's pretty small. It might just be all right and uh, we'll get cooking. So I did bring some oil. That's basically the only thing I brought. And also for this, I need an ignition point for the gas. So I got this lighter as well. It's just a USB rechargeable one that I got for Christmas. Bit of a different one, but it seems to work well. That's on there, got my fish, spread them around a bit so they're actually in the pan properly. Perfect size fish for the pan to be honest. And then just a tiny bit of oil. I've got that in there like that. Hopefully you can see that. Fish in the oil, let's get cooking. How's the view? I've got the fish cooking here and then you're just looking into the water. So I'll turn this off now. Pretty well done. Leave that to cool down for a little bit. All the fish is basically just pulled apart, so it's only little bits now. But I am hungry. Inside this, just had a sleeping bag and this mat. It's going a little bit flat by the look. So to pump this up, I had this open. You just press on there and just blows itself up. Simple as that. Goes firm. There's a valve there. You turn that for inflate and deflate. And then basically, after you've pumped it up, you just close that off and turn it on the other side. That's all my sleeping gear packed up in three little bags. It's the only way to do it when you're kite camping. So I'm all packed up, ready to go. One thing I just want to talk about is safety. So I've got my PLB out here when I'm out here alone. I've got a first aid kit here along with a snake bite kit and a couple of bandages. So I should be fine if anything happens, but it's always worthwhile preparing for the worst. So you've got it. Now, just before I left, going fishing. Got a few more blackberries, so I'm just gonna eat them. Kangaroo there. Kangaroo there. And some emus over there. So last video, I caught a heap of redfin in this area. Hopefully get a few more today. Big thanks to everyone who's commented on the last video. If you haven't watched it, check it out after this video. I'm going to be using the Purple Haze Grubson. Yep. Yep. Not that big. I don't know how I'm going to get that lure back because it looks like it's right down its mouth. Right, right down there. Yeah, that one just absolutely engulfed it. Little one, good start. Yep. Oh, this was a rock. Oh, yep. 
Nice one anyway. That was a nice one. So my original plans were to camp somewhere along here. Obviously that didn't happen. I was way too far away from this. Just got too dark. That would have been nice. But I was happy where I was anyway. Nice deep water. A lot of shade. Perfect for the redfin just to be sitting around here. How big it is yet? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes, it was very big from the first moments. Yeah. That one pulled hard, eh? Pulled a lot harder than the other one. Check out that. Just want to show you something. I don't know if you can see that, but that right there. It's some marin feelers, but they're that long. They're just hanging out of its mouth. Have a look at it in there. It's not even hungry, it's just eating because it can. Now you're probably wondering, what are my thoughts on the life straw? So, the thing that I've noticed with this is that it takes a fair bit of suction to get it through the straw. You've got to really suck it up. So if you're really thirsty, I'm not too sure how you'd go because you can't really scull it. But in this instance, it's perfect. I can just fill it up and keep having sips all day. Oh, what? Oh, I got a little trout. Nice. Tiny little trout. It went hard straight away, it just looks like a little one. So I'll finish it there with that little red fin. Oh, I've got a decent paddle back in front of me, so I'll head on out of here. Thanks for watching. As I said before, let me know in the comments whether you've ever caught a red fin or a trout at night. I'd love to know. Big thanks to everyone who watched the last video and heaps of comments. So yeah, appreciate all you guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Cheers.